Welcome to Golden Software's video training for Stratter 5. Stratter is a superior well log, borehole, and cross-section plotting software package. In this video, I will cover how to create cross-sections in Stratter. Cross-sections can be created from an empty project, from a project with data loaded, or from a well selector line on a well map. We will cover each of these cases in this video. In Stratter, you can create a cross-section as soon as you open the program. To create a cross-section when you have not loaded any data, Click the Home, New, Cross-Section View command to create a new cross-section view. Click Cross-Section, Create Add, Create Cross-Section to begin the process of creating the cross-section. The first few dialogues walk us through importing collars information or locating our wells. In the Open Collars File dialog, we will choose the data file that contains the collars information. If the file we selected has multiple worksheets, choose the appropriate worksheet in the XLSX Import Options dialog and click OK. In the Specify Worksheet Column Definitions dialog, check the checkbox next to Specify Column Header Row if your data has a header row, like ours does. Then click Next. The next dialog, Specify Data Type and Column Positions, is where we match the data columns to the table columns. Our data columns have similarly named headers as the tables, so these are automatically set for us. Click Finish to complete loading the collars information. Now that Stratter knows what wells are available and where they are located, in the Create Well Selector dialog, we will choose which wells we want to plot in our cross-section and what order to plot them in. By default, all wells are added to the cross-section. But we can use the Shift and Control keys to mass select wells to remove. The wells in the Wells in Selector list are in the order they appear in the cross section, with the top of the list being the left side of the cross section and the bottom being the right side. We can click and drag these to reorder them. Click OK. After choosing the wells and the order, the last thing Stratter needs is the log data to plot. In the Import Cross-Section Data dialog, first choose the type of cross-section logs to create. The three options are Lithology Zone Bar Log, Line Symbol Log, or Depth Registered Raster Log. We will create a Lithology Zone Bar Log cross-section. Next, we will import the data that contains the lithology information. To do so, click Import Data next to the first whole ID. Choose the data file containing your lithology information and click Open. If the file contains multiple worksheets, select any that contain the information you need and click OK. Go through the Data Import dialogs and the data is loaded. Notice that all of the Import Data buttons have turned green. This is because Stratter found all of these whole IDs in the loaded file. Verify that the data column is correct and click OK. The cross-section is created with default layers. If we had chosen one of the other cross-section log types, we would have been prompted to load a layer top table as well. We will show that in the next section. Now that we have data loaded into our project, we can go over how to load a cross-section from this point. Click the Home, New, Cross-Section View command to create a new cross-section view. Click Cross-Section, Create Add, Create Cross-Section to begin the process of creating the cross-section. In the Well Selector dialog, we will choose our wells as before and click OK. In the Import Cross-Section Data dialog, we will set the cross-section log type to Line Symbol Log and then verify that our table and data columns are appropriate, and click OK. Now we see a new dialog that I briefly mentioned at the end of the previous section, Import Layer Marks. Since raster logs and line symbol logs don't contain information about the lithology layers, Stratter needs to be directed to a table with layer information, if one exists. 
We will set the table for each whole ID to the top's depth table, then click OK. The cross section is created with the layer tops drawn. The third way to create a cross section is to draw a well selector on the map. To do this, click to the Map 1 view, select the map, and click Map, Add, Well Selector. Click on the wells on the map to add them to the well selector line. As you hover over a well, the name appears to confirm you're selecting the well you think you are. You can zoom in or out with the mouse wheel and pan with the sliders as needed when in well selector mode. Double click on the last well to end the well selector line and then press escape to exit well selector mode. Right click on the well selector line in the object manager and click Create, Cross Section. We skip right over the Create Well Selector dialog since we're starting from a well selector. So the first dialog we see is the Import Cross Section Data dialog. This time, we'll set the Cross Section Log Type to Depth Registered Raster Log. Set the table to the Depth Registration table for each whole ID, and click OK. Again, we're prompted for the layer marks, so we'll verify the table and data column, and then click OK. The cross section is created with layer marks. This concludes the training video for creating cross sections in Strata 5. If you have any additional questions, please contact Golden Software.